we received uh, a letter this week, a handwritten letter. It's wonderful. Um, we received a fair bit of, of mail. Um, and this, this letter has nothing to do with COVID, but it has a lot to do with grief. Um, the letter writer uh, is Didrik. He says, I'm 29 years old. I asked him if I could read some of this. I'm 29 years old from Oslo, Norway. Currently, I'm doing a PhD in biotechnology where I study biological phosphorus removal in wastewater. Uh, he proceeds to talk about um, his extraordinary family um, and the death of his little sister a year ago uh, and the experience of going through the, the grief of it and the grieving. And despite having a very tight-knit family and uh, a medical system that he was actually proud of and um, and felt extraordinarily well treated by. And I know how many of us would be lucky enough to have both of those things at the end of life for, for someone we love deeply. Um, but he he talks of not, of having been able to spend time with the body of his loved one, um, of his sister, um, and but but not enough, and was was brought back to this when um, he reports, I guess it was episode 91, I read an excerpt from chapter eight of our book, Hunter Gatherer's Guide to the 21st Century on grief. Uh, and one of the things that we say in there is spend time with the body of your loved one after they die. He says, I had some with my sister and I wish I had more. <clears throat> so all of this is just an amazing story to have been thinking about this week as I have been dwelling on grief, on the impossible loss of your own child, and um, <clears throat> thinking about what else we are all grieving right now, even those of us who are lucky enough not to have lost a child, but who have lost, all of us have lost some things these last two years. and. Um, He says, then everything had to move on, just like it must have done for all time. But it doesn't go back to normal, because there is no going back. Things went forward to normal. I've been thinking about this phrase, going forward to normal. Mm -hmm. um, you know, there's, there's been a lot said about the new normal, the old normal, what is going to be normal. And it's never occurred to me to talk about going forward to normal, but you know, we we are the people who will create our own future, and we have to create the normal that is acceptable to have in the world. Things will go forward to the normal that that we make. Well, uh, if I might, I, I've been saying, as you know, from the beginning of the pandemic, it will never go back to normal. I've known that from the beginning. This completes it, though. Mm -hmm. And it's not that it will go forward to normal. It will go forward to normal if we do this right. If we learn the lesson of this and we extrapolate from it correctly and we do what we must do, it will go forward to normal. Mm -hmm. If we fail in that, it yeah. will continue this way and we will go from one not normal situation to the next not normal situation. And eventually we won't make it out. Right. So I think forward to normal is exactly the correct objective. You almost invoked the Hopi uh, saying, we are the ones we've been waiting for. That one also belongs here. Right. And, uh, you know, let us, I, I, I think we should put everything into going forward to normal because they're really, it's going to be a short ride if we do not accomplish that. That really, it, it nicely encapsulates that we have to go somewhere that we cannot describe from here, but it must be because the alternative is unthinkable. Mm 